Hey guys, Deronda here with Foods 101. Super Bowl weekend is right around the corner and I'm giving you a heads up on how to make this buffalo chicken wrapped in puff pastry. It never disappoints and I think you're absolutely going to love it. The ingredients you're going to need is two sheets of puff pastry. This can be found in the frozen food section of your supermarket. Let it thaw in the refrigerator overnight before using. You're going to need one package of your dry mix ranch dressing. We're going to use about a teaspoon. Four slices of cheddar cheese, a half a cup of sour cream. I'm using a hot sauce. I'm going to show you how to sprinkle it on here in a little bit. You can use as much or as little as you wish. One cup of shredded Colby cheese. One fourth cup to one half cup of green onions. Some people will know this is spring onions. And I'm using six slices of rotisserie seasoned chicken breast. You can use the slice or you can buy a rotisserie chicken, pull the meat off the skin and the bones and use that as well. We've got one egg that I'm going to add a little water to. I'm going to use it for an egg wash on the top of our puff pastry and I'll show you how I'm going to do that here in a little bit. Let's get started. On a large cookie sheet that I've lined with parchment paper, this isn't necessary but it really helps the look on the bottom of your puff pastry. We're going to unfold our pastry with a rolling pin. I'm going to slightly just give it a little rolling. I like to do this on its cookie sheet because it will make it a lot easier to transport to the oven. Or what we can do is just put it here on our cutting board and roll it out a little bit. Kind of straighten it up if it gets a little lopsided there on you. Back to our cookie sheet. We're going to add it right here to the top. To protect our puff pastry, we're going to add our slices of cheddar cheese. You want to leave about a half an inch around the edge there because we're going to use the egg wash to glue the bottom part of the puff pastry and the top part of the puff pastry together. We'll add one slice that we're going to cut in half here on the end. Take that sour cream, spread it over our cheese here. Don't let this intimidate you. It's very, very easy to do. We're going to take our dry ranch seasoning mix and just sprinkle lightly over your sour cream. I've added a little bit more than a teaspoon of our dry ranch mix. We're going to take our hot sauce and you can just add as much or as little as you wish. Just add it right here on top of your sour cream with a fork. We're just going to go back and forth to get that ranch dressing mix and the hot sauce mixed in with our sour cream. If you want you can go vertical, horizontal, and then go vertical. That looks fantastic. With our green onions, we're going to just sprinkle a little bit over the top. You can add a fourth of a cup. You can add a half of a cup. I'm going to leave that up to you. Or you can leave it off if you don't like green onions. But I'm telling you, it's going to give this a punch of flavor. Add our slices of chicken right here to the top. I like to add it this way and then I like to turn it and add it this way. Add our cheese to the top of this. And again, the reason we add our cheese on the bottom and on the top is to protect that puff pastry because you don't want your puff pastry getting soggy from your other ingredients. Give your egg a slight beating. This acts as our glue along the edges of our puff pastry. Plus, it'll give it a lovely golden color once it's baked. Using a brush, we can just go around the edges. Because we're going to glue it to the top puff pastry. And I got a little bit too close to the edge, but it'll still work. For the top puff pastry, I rolled out a little larger than the bottom. Because we want it to fit over all of our center goodies. We just take it out and we're going to crimp the edges. You can use a fork to do this. 
You can actually even tuck it under if your ends are just a little longer than they should be. And at this point, you want your oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Back with the egg wash, we're going to brush the top of our puff pastry to get that golden shiny color that we're looking for. Make sure you get around the edges. With a knife, we're going to ventilate the top of the puff pastry. You're going to make some holes in the top. You can do it in a pattern or you can just make one or two slices. I'm going to leave that up to you. Back with the fork, we're going to go ahead make sure the edges have sealed together and at this point you want your oven preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is going to go into a preheated oven. Let's get that back just a little bit. And we can just go ahead and mash that down. That should hold. Off to that preheated oven on the middle rack for the next 30 to 35 minutes or until golden in color. Use your timer and no peeking. Buffalo chicken and puff pastry completed baking. And listen, you can hear it sizzle. Oh yeah. Mm, look at that cheese just oozing out around that puff pastry. We're going to let it cool down here for a few minutes before I cut into it. And then I'll be back to show you what it looks like on the inside and how it tastes. Let's transport our puff pastry over here to a cutting board. Let's just pull it off its baking sheet. Run onto another piece of parchment paper. Cut into it. See what it's like. Oh my heavens, it looks fantastic. Buffalo chicken and puff pastry. Gotta give it a try. Mmm, wow. The chicken and that ranch dry seasoning that's absorbed into our sour cream and into our cheese is absolutely fabulous. And just look at it. Mmm, all that cheese just oozing out along the edge. You won't be disappointed with this buffalo chicken and puff pastry. Enjoy at your Super Bowl party or any time of the year. This is a big hit at any special occasion. It's absolutely fabulous and a favorite to many. I'm Deronda with Foods 101. Give me thumbs up. Hit that notification bell to be the first to get my new YouTube food videos. Thanks a million for watching and I'll catch you lovely people later.